In League of Legends, 25 champions were modified in the 3.13 patch. On today's episode of Law Math, we'll be taking a look at the champion changes and the math behind them. Let's take a look at the changes now. For every 1% of Aatrox's blood well that is full, he will be granted attack speed equal to 0.3% plus 0.05% for every 3 levels. This will grant Aatrox 55% attack speed, the equivalent of 1833.15 gold, if he has a full blood well at level 16 or higher. The base magic damage per level on Blades of Torment has been decreased by 10. Ari's passive ability, Essence Theft, will no longer grant 35% spell vamp and will instead heal for each enemy her ability hits equal to 2 plus Ari's level plus Ari's ability power times 0.09. This new version of Essence Theft will never heal for more than the previous one except for under a few situations where Ari has zero ability power. Additional hits to a single target from Ari's Foxfire ability will now deal 20% less damage. The ability will also cost 10 less mana. Ari's ultimate ability, Spirit Rush, has had its base magic damage reduced by 15 and ability power ratio reduced by 0.05. Charm will now increase all damage Ari deals to a target for 6 seconds by 20%. It will also cost 85 mana. Ash's ultimate ability, Enchanted Crystal Arrow, will cost 50 less mana. Corky's base attack speed has been reduced by 0.033, moving his level 1 attack speed down 41 ranks and level 18 attack speed down 6 ranks, compared to the other champions. Corky's ultimate ability, Missile Barrage, now has had its cooldown increased by 0.8 seconds and will not be affected by cooldown reduction. The time it takes to reload a missile will still be affected by cooldown reduction. The base magic damage on a missile has been reduced by 30 but has had its magic damage per ability level increased by 10. The active ability power ratio on Fizz's Seastone Trident has been decreased by 0.2. Heimerdinger's abilities have been reworked, which we went over in a previous episode. The radius on the knockup of Jarvan's Dragon Strike has been reduced by 80 units. The base attack speed on a stack of Jinx's minigun has been reduced by 8.33%. However, the amount of attack speed a stack grants per level has been increased by 1.66%. Zap will no longer reveal stealth units and had its base mana cost increased by 5. It has also had its base physical damage reduced by 25 and its physical damage per level increased by 5. Cassadin will no longer gain magic resistance each level. The base magic damage on Null Sphere has been increased by 15 but will gain 15 less base magic damage per level. The base silence duration has been increased by 0.65 seconds but will now only gain a 0.25 second increase on the duration each each level. The base mana cost has been increased by 5, but will now only increase by 5 each level. The base magic damage on Cassidy's ultimate ability, Riftwalk, has been increased by 10, and the magic damage per level has also been increased by 10. Each additional ability cast within 8 seconds will deal additional damage equal to 45, plus the ability's current level times 5, plus Cassidy's ability power times 0.1 stacking up to 10 times. Half the mana cost of Riftwalk will also be refunded if it damages an enemy champion. Kha'Zix's Void Spike will now slow for an additional 10% when evolved. Leona's ultimate ability, Solar Flare, will now cost 100 mana. Master Yi's Meditate will now cost 50 mana. Morgana's auto attack range has been increased by 25. Her base attack speed has been increased by 0.046, moving her level 1 attack speed up 44 ranks and level 18 attack speed up 11 ranks, compared to the other champions. Tormented Soil has had its magic damage per level decreased by 1, but its ability power ratio increased by 0.02. It will no longer reduce the target's magic resistance, but the damage dealt will be increased by 0.5% for every 1% of the target's missing health. The minimum and maximum slow duration on Olaf's Undertow has been increased increased by 0.5 seconds. It will also now cost 60 mana. The base attack speed granted from Vicious Strikes has been increased by 25%, but now only grants an extra 10% attack speed per level. The health cost on Reckless Swing will now be equal to 30% of the damage dealt, as opposed to 40% previously. Sivir will now gain 1.68% less attack speed per level, moving her level 18 attack speed down 80 ranks. The base cooldown on Ricochet has been increased by 2 seconds. It will now empower Sivir's next 3 auto attacks, making them bounce to nearby enemies dealing physical damage equal to her attack damage times 0.45, plus the ability's current level times 0.05. Spell Shield now costs 0 mana, but will refund mana equal to 45, plus the ability's current level times 15. Sivir's ultimate ability, On the Hunt, will now passively grant her bonus attack speed when Ricochet is active equal to 20%, plus On the Hunt's current level times 20%. The ability's base cooldown has been increased by 40 seconds, but will now decrease by 30 seconds each level. When cast, Sivir will grant all allies within 1,000 units 60% movement speed, which will decay to 20% movement speed over the course of 4 seconds, and remain for an additional 6 seconds. It will also no longer have a cast delay. Soraka's ultimate ability, Wish, will now cost 100 mana. The range on Cinder's Scatter the Weak ability has been increased by 50. Swain's passive ability, Carrion Renewal, will now restore 9% of its maximum mana 
mana on champion kills and assists. Thresh will now gain an additional 2% attack speed each level, moving his level 18 attack speed up 57 ranks. The cooldown on Trindamir's Spinning Slash will now be reduced by 1 second on critical strikes, but will be reduced by 2 seconds on critical strikes against enemy champions. Varus's ultimate ability, Chain of Corruption, will now cost 100 mana. Victor's ultimate ability, Chaos Storm, will also cost 100 mana. The speed at which the Zed's shadows travel has been reduced by 1000 units per second. When Zed casts his ultimate ability, Deathmark, he will be untargetable for an extra 0.4 seconds. Zed can also swap with the shadow spawn from Deathmark if he is less than 2000 units away from it, as opposed to 1100 units previously. The shadow will also last an additional 2 seconds. The level 18 magic damage on Ziggs' short fuse has been increased by 11. Satchel charge has had its blast radius increased by 50. The blast radius on a Hexplosive Minefield Mine has been increased by 15. Ziggs' ultimate ability, Mega Inferno Bomb, will now deal double damage to minions. The range on Zyra's Deadly Bloom has been reduced by 25. The ability will also deal 5 less magic damage each level, but has had its ability power ratio increased by 0.05. The range on Zyra's Rampant Growth has been increased by 25, but will now gain 2% less cooldown reduction per level. The plants have had their base magic damage increased by 3, but have had their base magic damage per level increased by 0.5. After being placed, a seed can now be destroyed by an enemy champion 1.5 seconds sooner. Overall, 13 champions were buffed, 5 were nerfed, and 7 received a combination of buffs and nerfs. If you'd like an episode of Lawmath made on the topic of your choice, please consider making a donation to Charity Water at mycharitywater.org slash lawmath, guaranteeing your episode will be made. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you'd like to be informed whenever I release new videos. Click the annotation on the screen if you'd like to see the previous Lawmath episode. You can also like Lawmath on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and watch me livestream on Twitch. Thanks for watching this episode of Lawmath.